This video is going to be about the mitochondria. So the mitochondria are super important in uh, our cellular functions. So they're going to be uh, the source of the majority of our cells' energy. So kind of looking at the structure of a mitochondria. So it has two membranes. So we have this outer membrane, and then we have a really highly folded inner membrane. And this is going to be really important in cellular respiration. So the space in between these two membranes is called the intermembrane space. It's pretty easy to remember. And then the inside of um, this compartment that's created by that second membrane is the mitochondrial matrix. And so, um, Kind of talking about some things that we have within our mitochondria. Our mitochondria are a unique organelle in the fact that um, mitochondria actually have their own DNA and their own ribosomes inside of this mitochondrial matrix. And so um, this can be explained by something called the endosymbiont theory. Endosymbiont theory. So basically what that theory says is that the mitochondria as well as uh, the chloroplasts, which we'll talk about in another video, were at one point free living organisms. And so they lived on their own outside of our cells. And then these um, organisms were engulfed by a larger cell and they formed a really uh, good working relationship between the two of them. And so the mitochondria uh, and the chloroplasts kind of just stuck around and they became part of the eukaryotic cell. And so that's why they have their own um, ribosomes, their own DNA, uh, and kind of their whole own little system going on within the mitochondrial matrix. So uh, like I said, the mitochondria is really important in cellular respiration. So a lot of those enzymes that are needed for cellular respiration are found within this mitochondrial matrix, um, as well as we have a lot of them found within this uh, inner membrane of the mitochondria. And so that's one reason why the uh, inner membrane of the mitochondria has so many folds is because it increases the surface area of that inner membrane. So we have more room for these different proteins that we need to make uh, ATP and to really make this uh, an efficient organelle for ourselves. So just to review, we have two membranes. We have the outer membrane and the inner membrane. The inner membrane is really highly folded to increase the surface area uh, to really get the most out of that space for cellular respiration. The inside in the mitochondrial matrix, they have uh, their own DNA. They have their own ribosomes, so they're capable of making their own proteins as well as a lot of enzymes that are needed for uh, cellular respiration. And we think that we have mitochondria because of the endosymbiont theory, um, which says that this once lived on its own, but then was engulfed by a larger cell and was beneficial uh, for both of those uh, organisms to live in that uh, configuration. And so they stuck around and uh, became permanent. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.